in Boston, Massachusetts, getting ready for game two of this Eastern Conference semifinal series. The Celtics, a 1-0 lead on the Cavs, trying to join the Knicks and make it 2-0. We know New York dealing with injuries, but up two games to none on the Pacers as we welcome you to NBA Courtside, presented by Pro Namel. Jason Tatum getting ready to go here at his home arena, TD Garden. Donovan Mitchell has had success against the Celtics in his career as we welcome you courtside. Hey, everybody, Ryan Rucco along. When you get into these deep playoff runs, it's your sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth man. And let me just tell you right now, the Boston Celtics are loaded. Derek White, we know about his all defense, but his points per game have gone up. Drew Holiday, the savvy veteran that's won a championship in Milwaukee. And then Al Horford, he has seen almost everything in the postseason except a championship. But they are getting contributions across the board from their bench. You throw in a little Luke Cornett, a little Sam Hauser. You have quite the squad if you're the Boston Celtics. Meanwhile, for the Cavaliers, Richard, what do they need to do? He's gone out tonight. I think of Coro getting the start again for game two, right? All right, thanks a lot, Cavs. We are getting ready for action. Game two Celtics Cavs Malika and the crew will help set the stage next NBA courtside on ESPN is presented by new pro enamel repair mouthwash actively repairs enamel beyond brushing alone again going to be without Jared Allen so it's going to be Garland and Mitchell in the backcourt. Struz, Isaac Okoro who slides up into that four spot. And Evan Mobley at the five to round out the starting lineup for Cleveland. For Boston, they still are without Kristaps Porzingis. Al Horford slides in at center, something that they certainly have gotten used to at times throughout this season, along with Holiday, White, Brown, and Tatum. Donovan Mitchell has been the source and it's the ball movement of the of the Boston Celtics moving it around and then Brown knocks it down over Mobley. Brought to you by Burger King. It certainly has been the Boston Celtics this season. Their dominance overwhelming. 46 games with a lead of at least 20 points. How about 19 wins by 25 plus most by a team all time. That includes the playoffs. They also have had 11 wins by at least 30, three wins by 50 plus points. And obviously a lot of timeout Boston. Back to back buckets from Evan Mobley and the Cavs have cut the deficit to three. The former number three pick in the draft being aggressive. That's what the Cavs need. Down by three with five to go in the first. That's how the first quarter ends for the Cavs after falling behind by nine in the quarter on an 11-3 dash and lead by six after one in game two here at TD Garden. And the Boston Celtics matching that run that you saw from the Cavs but it starts with defense. Peyton Pritchard giving it up early because he knows he's going to get it back. Game three is tomorrow night on ESPN in the app. Knicks Pacers at 7 Eastern. Then it's Nuggets T-Wolves. The countdown crew tips off our coverage at 6.30 Eastern. Let's take a listen in to Sounds of the Game with J.B. Bickerstaff. We're here in Boston for the East Semifinals delivered by Chipotle and a big start to the second quarter for the Celtics. Yeah, we talked about the Cavalier ball movement. Then right here, Al Horford playing a little keep away from the Cavs. And then out here in transition, the Celtics can beat you from three, but they can beat you a lot of different ways. But right there, just great defense by Struis. But there is nothing that you can do against Jason Tatum, against a move like this. You live with it, but he's okay with it. 13 points, five rebounds, four assists for Tatum. And that'll do it for the first half. 54 all. Cavs in both quarters on 11-3 runs. And in much better position than they were in game one, trying to even up this best of seven series. 54 all, Toyota halftime with Malika and the crew coming up next.
The NBA Conference Semifinals on ESPN are delivered by Chipotle. Real food for real athletes. Chipotle for real. We welcome you back to the NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. It's the East semifinals delivered by Chipotle. Some of the images from a back and forth first half in game two, tied at 54. As we take a look at our first half stats, brought to you by Gray Goose. Celtics held to 45% from the floor, got the paint going in the second quarter, but Cavaliers a lot to like about what they were able to do in that first half as we welcome you back courtside, Ryan. Timeout. Cleveland a five point lead off and running in this third. And the Cavs doing it with defense. Jason Tatum going against Mobley, forces him into a difficult shot. And then Darius Garland getting them off and running. Okoro with the finish. Cavs up by four, excuse me, five early here in the third. Well, the runner up in this year's MVP voting. Shea Gilgis Alexander getting ready to go. The Thunder been unblemished in these playoffs. Game two against the Mavericks coming up next on ESPN. Richard, we've talked about it. J.B. Bickerstaff wanted to limit the attempts from three for Boston in this series, certainly tonight. They have done that after 46 attempts in game one, just 18 thus far this evening. It's nine midway through the third. And Darius Garland continue to work downhill. Drops it off to the cutting Okoro. Cavs in a good spot. The horn. And the Cavaliers take a 12-point lead into the fourth. And Donovan Mitchell, we saw the spin cycle that Jason Tatum put on the Cavs earlier. Trigger on the and Donovan Mitchell going right back at him. A big three by Donovan Mitchell, and the Boston Celtics are down 12 with 12 to go. Not in the Boston Celtics, they are cleaning up that glass, eliminating second chance opportunities. Then here, one on one, there is no one better. Right now, Mitchell is on a 7 0 run. The NBA Conference Semifinals on ESPN are delivered by Chipotle. Real food for real athletes. Chipotle for real. Well, Donovan Mitchell has been dynamic in these playoffs and certainly in this second half. No, we talked about it. Those six assists that he has, that opens up the floor for him. It allows him to work. And now look, look, this little extra dribble gets the defense spaced and now he's able to split with that spin. Then here, one-on-one, -on -one, you want to attack the Boston Celtics before that defense gets settled. And Donovan Mitchell has been 739 to go in the fourth quarter of game two. Cavs up 17. Well, the NBA playoffs roll on Saturday with a pair of game threes over on ABC and the ESPN app. The Thunder and the Mavs square off in their Western Conference semifinal at 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central, and then coverage of the Eastern Conference semis between the Celtics and the Cavs begins at 8 Eastern with 2.7 rebounds, 8 assists. And how about the Cleveland Cavaliers after falling by 25 in game one? Oh, 118-94 game two win. Game three, a swing game now, Saturday, 8.30 Eastern on ABC. For our producer, Rodney Vaughn, our director, Jeff Evers, Richard Jefferson, Cassidy Hubbard, and our entire NBA on ESPN crew. I'm Ryan Rucco. Coming up next, it's game two between the Dallas Mavericks and the Oklahoma City Thunder. We'll get you back to Malika and the studio crew after this break.